good afternoon children welcome to the e learning class of mathematics today we will be solving a combined worksheet of all the lessons that we have done under evaluation 1 and 2 that is uh, two digit and three digit numbers and addition with for carry forward and without carry forward three digit numbers so let us begin number 1 fill in the missing numbers by counting forward or backward the first number is given 190 so and the last number is given as 187 so first number is 190 and the last number is 187 the trick is whenever you have the smaller number at the end that means we have to perform backward counting so we will start counting from backward from 190 or what we can do is we can deduct 1 amra hoy minus 1 kore dite pari jeta given number ache prothome ar na hole amra backward counting jemon normal bhabe hoy shei bhabe korte pari so 9 190 then 189 then 188 and the last one is already given 187 in the second one again you can see that 599 is there and the last number is 602 that means 602 is more than 900 599 so in that case we will do forward counting so 599 600 and then 601 and finally 602 is already there coming to question number 2 In the number eight seventy six, the place value of eight seven and six is what? So the place value of eight is hundreds, seven is tens, and six is ones. Question number three: Write the expanded form for each of the following. So the number is given eight hundred nine, and you have to expand it. It okay? बड़ो कर लिखते हैं तो बड़ो करते गले मजे प्लस दिए दिए वोटे बड़ो करी तई तो सो एट हंड्रेड प्लस देर इज नो नो नम्बर अदर दैन जिरो एंड जिरो डज नट हाव एनी वैल्यू अफ इट्स ओन बट वी उल मेन्शन जस्ट जिरो अंडार टेंस प्लेस एंड नाइन इन दान्स प्लेस डु नट फर्गेट टू मेन्शन जिरो इन द टेंस प्लेस नम्बर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर पुट द करेक्ट सिंबल ग्रेटर लेसर और इज इक्वल टू सो चिल्ड्रन इन द फर्स्ट वन यू हैव थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एंड ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ द बॉक्स यू हैव थ्री हंड्रेड सेवन सो विच इज ग्रेटर और लेसर सो थ्री हंड्रेड सेवेंटी इज ग्रेटर दैन थ्री हंड्रेड सेवन In question number four two, four hundred eighty two and four hundred eighty eight is given. Here, four hundred eighty two is less than four hundred eighty eight. Coming to question number. In question number five, you have underlined the greatest number and circle the smallest number. So here in number one you have one hundred eighteen, two hundred eighty nine. Five hundred sixty-seven, four hundred eighty-one, and nine hundred sixty-two. Among these numbers, the data borrow number ache sheeta ke you have to underline. A data choto number ache uta ke toma ke circle kotha hobe. Fine. So here, as you can see, one hundred eighteen is the smallest number, and nine hundred sixty-two is the greatest number. Question number six. Rearrange the numbers in ascending order. ए जे नंबर गुलो दिया आ चे इगुलो के छोटो थे के बड़ो कोरे लिखता हबे. So four hundred five, five hundred sixty two, five hundred twenty six and four hundred ten. And how will you arrange from the small to big? So four hundred five, four hundred ten, four five hundred twenty six and finally five hundred sixty two will be the last number. rearrange the numbers in descending order if you see question number 7 here you have to write the numbers from big to small so 500 159 
519, 591, 590. So, you have to now arrange the numbers. So, which will be the biggest number? 591 and then 590. The next small number will be 519 and the finally the number will be 159. So, this is how you will solve question number 7. Coming to question number 8. Write the skip counting. Number 1, skip counting of 50s 255 and 305 is given so what will be the next number the next number you will keep on counting of tens that that is 305 okay then 315 325 335 345 355 and see the number is 355 Again, you will leave 355 and start counting. 365, 375, 385, 395 and 405 is the final answer. Coming to question 8, number 2. Skip counting of 5s. That is, the number is given 619 and 624 are the two numbers already given. So, if you fi find out the next number, what it will be? 624 after 624 625 626 627 628 629 so the number will be 629 in the first blank and in the second blank we will count after 629 that is 630 631 632 633 and finally 634 will be the final answer in the blank number 2 now you have question number nine add here children you can see there are two set of sums you need to add and please do not forget to mention the carry forward if it is there so in the first sum you can see the number is 570 and the number to be added to it is 282 so if you start adding the you'll start from one's place right so zero added to two you get two because any number added to zero gives the same number we know the rule eight plus seven is how much after eight if you count eight then nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so five is the number you'll pen down and one will be carried forward to hundreds place so five plus two is five six seven plus one eight okay Question number 2, 345 plus 231, 231 and 157. There are three set of numbers. Now you need to add it. So 7 plus 5 is after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 plus 1, 13. And you will carry forward 1 in the tens place. So 4 plus 5, 3 plus 5 plus 1 you have to do so 4 plus 3 4 5 6 7 plus 5 8 9 10 11 12 plus 1 13. you get the total number 13 right and from 13 you will write down 3 in the tens place and you will carry forward the 1 in hundreds place and then you will again add okay so 3 plus 2 is 3, 4, 5. Plus 1, 6. Plus 1, 7. Now if you look at number 10, question number 10, solve the word problems. In a school, there are 430 boys and 327 girls. How many students are there in the school? So on one side, that is the right hand side, you will right solve the sum and on the left hand side of the box you will write the statement so we'll begin first mention hto then leave one line and then write from the left hand side first number of boys is equal to 430 in the next line number of girls equal to then the equal to then the addition sign 327 and finally, total number of girls and boys in the school. 
is equal to 757. So answer is 757 students. Okay. So here you come to the end of the worksheet and I hope it will be an a very easy worksheet for you to solve since we have already practiced all the sums in the online classes so children you will copy it in your maths notebook and please try to solve it on your own and we will again revise it during our next online class so i hope you will do it on your own thank you bye bye and stay fit and happy